Kenny says this looks like a documentary from the 90s. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie Carson. I am going to be making an all pink soap today. Inspired by Funny Face, which was a film done a long time ago. It stars Audrey Hepburn. The story is that there's like a fashion designer lady and she's trying to decide what her color of the season is going to be and she like trashes all the other colors and is like, no, blue is boring, red is boring, purple's absurd, pink. Pink is the only way to go. So that was kind of the inspiration for this soap. It is almost all completely pink. You will see one of our colorants did not behave and was therefore banished afterwards. <laughs> but all in all, I am really pleased and I think it's gonna look excellent for Valentine's Day. Our Think Pink Soap is part of the Ardor Collection, which will be available on February 1st at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time at royaltysoaps.com. <laughs> Without further ado, let's make some soap. Before we begin, I would like to declare my love for pink. Pink is a mood. It is a concept. Pink is a way of life. Pink is my favorite color and this video is dedicated to pink. Now let us begin. We shall begin by blending our lye water solution into our oils. Yes, these are at room temperature. In fact, the lye water is a little bit cold because it's a little bit cold in here. Optimally, you want these to be within five degrees of each other. Let us split this container into four equal portions and then we're going to color them all pink. Light pink, dark pink, purple pink, pinky pink. It's gonna be so great. And I'm also going to scrapey scrapey out my little containy. The first pink I'm gonna be adding is oleander pink from Nurture Soap and I don't believe I've ever actually used this in a soap before. Now I could be wrong, I've made lots of soap, but you know, I don't think I have. The second pink I'm adding is Cosmic Carolyn, my precious, beloved Cosmic Carolyn. She's beautiful, she is everything. I use her all the time, she's from TKB Trading. I can't rave about it enough. The next one is called Hot Pants. <laughs> from Mad Micahs. Of course it's Mad Micahs. Who else would name their Micah Hot Pants? <laughs> Oh, they've got the funniest names. I was going based on their pictures for um, color reference and I think it's going to be a very nice addition. And then finally, we have lollipop pink and this is also from Nurture Soap. This looks very similar to Flash Dance by Mad Micahs. I don't know if both of them are like exactly the same but it looks pretty similar. It's kind of a purpley pink, really shiny, super pretty. And now, it is blending time. For the fragrance oil, I will be adding pink grapefruit from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Honestly, the most stunning grapefruit fragrance oil ever. A pink grapefruit. I'm just going to blend this in by hand. This is a very nice, well-behaved little fragrance oil. Shouldn't cause you any problems in your cold process soap, even if you have a water discount. And speaking of water discount, if you're wanting to use my recipe that I'm using today, you can, it is listed down in the description box below, along with links to all the supplies that I'm using and a whole bunch of other good stuff, including links to like Ebates and Airbnb, a couple of discount codes in there. Ebates we use all the time. I mean, we get a quarterly check from them every single quarter because we use them all the time when shopping on eBay and stuff. Guys, it's 100% free. J just sign up for that. It, it will be a good thing for you and your business. Also, if you're traveling, again, I have Airbnb down there so you can get $40 off your first stay. Airbnb is what we use every single time we travel because why would you not stay in a house uh, that has a full kitchen and all the accoutrements rather than staying just 
a, a single hotel room for the exact same price. I've never had a problem. Airbnb has been the best and I've used it for several years now. Okay, with all my fragrance oil blended in, it's time to start pouring into our two brambleberry molds after this quick potential commercial break. You might not get one, but I like to throw it out there anyway. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to begin with the Cosmic Carolyn, just pouring a little stripey down the middle. Doesn't have to be perfect or go fully to the edge. Once again, this is a drop swirl today. I love drop swirls. They make my heart so happy because you get to see all the different colors, but it's still plenty swirly. This was something I talked about in my 2020 like review that I was just really happy about being able to master. Cause even though it looks really easy, I personally find that this is actually one of the harder things to do right. It's really easy to either make really gloopy soap or make it run together too much. So having the right consistency for drop swirls is actually kind of a skill. Another skill that I think is definitely worth noting, and for people who do it often, I am impressed by tiger stripes. Those people are miracle workers, especially those that can do larger batches. It's a lot easier to make one little skinny loaf of soap than it is to make like 64 bars at a time because bigger batches, your soap acts differently. It moves a little quicker, yada, yada, yada. I tell you what, making those little purple molds that you can get um, on Amazon or AliExpress, those are the easiest ones to make because it's only like two pounds of soap. And that's why whenever we put together our beginner series, I will have you guys use that mold because it is very easy to use and you still get really good sized bars. Are you getting Valentine's Day vibes, Kenny? It reminds me of all of those Valentines that I used to receive. <laughs> whenever the teacher made other people give them to you. <laughs> no one was special in grade school. That was a participation trophy. Now one thing I will say is that if this oleander doesn't turn slightly pinker, I am going to be a very unhappy rabbit because I had my hopes set on a very light pink and that is looking awfully cream colored. Gonna give it a little shooka shooka. <laughs> I've decided that I will swirl the top of this soap for your aesthetic benefit. It will not do anything because we're piping the top, but this always looks so pretty. And I love watching this for channels that are only doing low top soaps. This particular swirl, this little like infinity swirl, I don't really know what it's called. Maybe it's not called that. It's one of my favorites to see. It really is, especially on cut bars because it just does such a good job swirling. Oh yes, I love it. Okay. So now I'm gonna mix up the soap frosting, the pink soap frosting. We're going to pipe it on top and add in five million embeds after this quick commercial break. Today we will be using the Royalty Soaps Soap Frosting Club Kit to do the piping on top. I mixed in a little bit of Cosmic Carolyn Mica and TD to get this lovely pink color. I would say the Cosmic Carolyn color is probably the closest to my favorite color pink because it's warm toned and in this particular batch looks a slight, just, just a ever so teeny tiny bit orange. And that is my favorite. I love that corally pink. It is all over California. It was one of my favorite things to see. Actually, last year in February, when I went to California for the first time with my best friend, Caroline, it was one of the things I noticed and was like, look at these doors. And everybody paints their doors so pretty in California. All these really bold, vivid colors, even though most of the houses are like just a regular light gray or white. So I love that just standout pop of color next to all the desert plants like succulent 
violence and aloes. It's so pretty. I think I'm due for another trip to some tropical location. I would love to know, for those of y'all in the States, some tropical locations that Caleb and I should go because we've been to Hawaii. We really want to go back, but we just don't want to do the six hour plane ride with two kids under the age of two. It just sounds like a potential nightmare. So we're looking for somewhere beachy, warm, balmy that we can go to. So suggestions would be both helpful and appreciated. We've also talked about going somewhere up in the mountains like Colorado. It's been years. I think the last time I went to Colorado I was like 11. We stayed in Colorado Springs and it was so lovely. And yes, we actually went and visited all the hot springs there and that was also super cool. Though I was not prepared as an 11 year old for the stench. <laughs> would be accompanying those springs. I was like, why does it smell like rotten eggs? <laughs> there we go, Kenny. Sulfur soap. <laughs> I remember that we proved how Texan we were when we were driving up that mountain and then we stopped on the side of the road just because we saw some snow. <laughs> That's right, we did do that, didn't we? Oh my, the snow. We almost never get snow in Texas, so whenever we saw it, we were like, <laughs> snowmen, snow forts, snowballs, pull over. All of the children's illustrated books that we saw over the years that are for winter time, we were like, it all makes sense. Snow isn't a myth. <laughs> So the first thing we're gonna put on top of the soap is this Sparkle Me Red Fairy Duster, which looks rather pinky on top. Perfect. I also really like this one because it's really easy to get out of the pump. The Sparkle Me, let's see, I can't remember. I think it's Sparkle Me Blue. Sometimes I have a hard time getting it out of the pump. <laughs> trying to blow the sparkle stuff up in my face. I don't want to get it on the lenses and electrical equipment. I just want y'all to look at the top of this mica. Is that not gorgeous? OMG. This is the lollipop mica from Nurture Soap. It's just so shiny. Look at it. <laughs> now I'm just going to sprinkle this all around. Rather crazy indeed. Last little bit we're gonna put on here. Now it's time for embeds. We're gonna put on some hot pink grapefruits, some multi-toned mini soap gumballs, some multi-toned pink gems, and super tight, super springy looking soap curls. So first I'm gonna put the big one on and that's gonna be the pink grapefruit. This is the one I kind of have to get right. And then all the rest of them I will just put on based on where the grapefruits are. Time for the curls. I'm trying to stick them underneath but still very prominently so you can see them. And basically what I told Shelly for these embeds was I want pink but I don't want it to all be the same pink. I want it to be different pinks. So she has some ones that are more clear with sparkles. She has some that are very opaque and light. She has some that are right in the middle. She has some that are really hot pink. So there's a really good variety. This kind of thing really makes each individual bar super unique. It's another reason I love doing them. Also, soap curls are just the best. They always make me think of cake. I know. Okay, with all the pink bits on this side done. I'm gonna spin it around and we're going to add the little uh, gumballs. Once again, every one of them is different. I really like this one. I think she used Summer Crush from Nurture Soap. I'm pretty sure that color is discontinued though. I was super sad when it left because that was one of my favorites. It's funny because when I was, oh, I'd say probably second grade, a thing that went around in my school where it was not cool to like pink if you were a girl. It was like, you needed to, to be cool and pick a different color, like blue or green. And I just loved pink so much. So whenever we were going around in a circle and everyone's like, what's your favorite color, Katie? I debated on whether or not I should <laughs> lie about my favorite color because it wasn't cool to like pink. But you know what? I didn't do it. I stood up for myself and was like, my favorite color is pink. And all those girls, they weren't very kind about it. They were like, well, that's pretty boring. That's everyone's favorite color. And I staunchly did not care. <laughs> 
The last we embed our little soap gems. What was your favorite color when you were a kid, Kenneth? Oh, I think that I liked blue. Blue and black. I wasn't afraid to <laughs> go with the grain either. <laughs> But now I really like purple, pink, and black. They really are such nice colors. And oddly enough, I really like the color green now too. <laughs> Kenny and I have been toying with an idea. I wanna pitch it to you guys. We've been thinking about doing a little mini series here on Royalty Soaps. We've actually had a lot of ideas for little mini series, but one of the ones that we think would be fun would be to um, have somebody else pick a word and then we have to make a soap based on that word. Like alternatively, you could do like a color. Like they pick out one of the colors from up on the rack behind me whenever I'm doing like some intros and outros. You guys have seen all those different colors up there. They just pick one color and then we can use like white or black and we have to make a soap based on that. And then you guys get to vote and we'll do like three sets and whoever's the winner, there will be like two different prizes and we will donate to our favorite charities that either Kenny or I have picked. So if you guys think that would be fun for us to do, let us know by giving this video a thumbs up. We have here some plastic free pink glitter. So I'm going to douse the top with that. Boop, 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 boop. Oh wow, it matches the Cosmic Carolyn perfectly. I wonder if we should put some rainbow silver eco glitter or hollow glitter. What do you think, Kenny? Do you think it needs some hollow? More glitter. And with that, we have the final touches. We'll spritz with rubbing alcohol and I'll bring you in for a close up of Think Pink. Everything is pink. Marvelous, glorious, downright amazing pink. Everything I ever wanted in a soap. A mountain of embeds, loads of glitter, and pink. So we are going to wait 18 to 24 hours, and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna chop it all up. Hopefully that oleander color will have turned, and we'll take a peeps at the inside after this potential quick commercial break. Please, YouTube, please put a commercial break here. Y'all, this smells so good. <laughs> It smells even better after having sat for a while. I do have to be very careful though where I line this up because I really don't want to whack those grapefruits. Also, I can see that oleander pink mica misbehaving, the little tart. She must be reprimanded. Ooh, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Now don't worry about these little yellow bits. Those just have to turn back to the normal color after they get exposed to the air. That's very typical for Cosmic Carolyn. It will go the way it's supposed to. However, is this pink to you? Because this is not pink to me. Oleander pink, you're out of here. You're good for melt and pour only. However, the other three seem to be doing well. Cosmic Carolyn is looking nice and bright. Lollipop pink is looking nice and bright. And so is Hot Pants. And they have perfectly matched the top, which is also looking really, really good. So all in all, I'm really pleased. This is gonna be the show-stopping ultimate Valentine's Day soap. And yeah, it smells really, really good. I would try to work a grapefruit scent into every single month if I could do it. The question of the day is, should I do another soap where it's all one color? Obviously, I tried to do all one color, but that oleander. Would you like to see an all blue soap, an all green soap, an all gold soap? Let me know. I'll leave an eye in the upper right hand corner of the screen and then you can vote on which color you'd like to see down in the comments section below. And if someone has already said your color, just give it a thumbs up. That way I can see which ones you guys really, really like. This looks like a lava lamp. <laughs> If you'd like to pick this up for your loved one for Valentine's Day instead of a bar of chocolate, they will be available at royaltysoaps.com on February 1st, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. I hope you all have an absolutely lovely day. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like going out and eating a grapefruit if you're not allergic and you actually like them. <laughs> I love grapefruits. My mom has a grapefruit spoon, like a whole utensil 
made for grapefruits. I thought that was a normal thing that everybody had and then I went to other people's houses and they were like, what is a grapefruit spoon? I don't know. Yeah, it's a whole utensil just for grapefruit. Or maybe putting up some Valentine's Day decorations in your locker or your office or maybe your home or bedroom. Make it festive because the big day is coming. And so until next time, have an absolutely royal day and bye for now. Yum.